My mom always had a different guy around. And one of them liked to touch me. Do you want to know what she did? She fucking married the asshole. You get me the leverage I need to go against Noma. Just fucking maybe I change this murder to a fucking accident. What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. And this video, I'll be talking about Ife's mother and who she is, Monet's decision on her children's faith with Carter, and how Carter will be taken off the board, and as well as Norma. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, let's get straight into the topics. Now, Carter wants Norma's head and the Taharas together with Tariq will have to give it to him. But the question is, will they? Now, let's analyze the whole situation one by one. Now, trust me, the person in the most difficult decision-making situation here is Monet. Why do I say so? Now, she has two of her lovely sons on both sides of the cliff. Either one of them can go down. What do I mean by this? Drew has now somehow joined forces with Carter. He gave up his mother's supplier, which is Norma, to Carter already. Now, Carter wants every leverage he can get on Norma to put her down. And the challenge here is that Norma doesn't work alone. She's working with Kane and hypothetically speaking, if Norma goes down, Kane automatically goes down with her. Not to talk of his new marry me proposal to Norma, which I'll come to in a bit. Now, this is why I said Monet is in the most difficult decision-making situation. Will she give up Norma and risk Kane's life in the process? The fact that Drew might be on Carter also doesn't mean that he's safe there. That is her son too, and Carter might want to use Drew as a weak link to get Monet to deliver Norma. Now, question I want to ask you is, what would you do if you were Monet? Will you risk another son's life? Drop your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Let's discuss. Now, if you ask me, Monet will have to move strategically and she will need Tariq now more than ever to make a decision. And if I am Monet, I will not give up Norma. Instead, I will make Norma know Carter is after her so she can also have a strategy. Now, it's like both Norma, Tariq and the Tahares have a common enemy, which is Carter. And until he's taken off the board, no one is free. And funny enough, he also made it clear to them that their freedom is in his hands. So they know what that means. Now, since they all have a common enemy, there is only one way out which is to kill him. But killing a cop will make matters worse for them. And like I said, drug dealers will not quickly consider killing a police officer as their first option. So in this case, what can they possibly do with Carter? One, this is where Tate comes to play. If Tariq briefs Tate on who Carter is and Tate put two and two together with regards to his brother's death, then it's easy peasy for the team. Kate will definitely handle Carter in memory of his brother. The second thing I think they can do is to set Carter up in a way that they would rather have some leverage on him and control him. They can also attempt an audiovisual way of setting him up, but let me know your opinion on this matter as well. So if Monet doesn't want to bury another son, then she must think and move with some serious strategy. Now let's talk about marry me. Norma. Marry me. If that's supposed to be a joke. Adam was working on US citizenships among other things for Norma. And now that he is dead, she will need to find a way to speed up her moves and time is not her friend. So the fastest way for her is to marry a US citizen and that means that the person has to be the majority owner of her company. Now, if she marries Kane, he becomes the majority owner of her company. Norma is desperate now that she will end up making desperate decisions. Like they always say, desperate times needs desperate actions. You don't really think you can control me, do you? Of course, Norma cannot control Davis. And like I said in one of my last videos, Norma needs someone like Mecca. And in this case, she's finding it in both Kane and Davis. But out of the two, She'll need one that she can control, and that will be Kane. Now, this is where we will all underestimate Kane. I will say that throughout Kane's character journey, it has always been established that Kane is not smart. He makes wrong decisions. His mother always says that to his face. Lorenzo made Drew number two just to show him that he is not smart enough to make great moves. Now, Norma is equally under the view that Kane is Mama's boy, and therefore he can be her pet as well. Now, this is when Kane will make a bigger move and take everything from Norma and possibly be the one to put bullet in her head. Now, if Norma goes ahead to marry Kane, this means that Kane will become the majority shareholder of her company. This also means that Kane has some legal rights over her assets on paper. And what I see happening if they proceed is Kane will rather have control over Norma instead. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, let's talk about Ife. Now, Efe's history has been one of the most alien in power universe. The girl just appeared out of nowhere, then boom, she's in the front row of actions. 
no family traces or any detailed information. The last information on Ife and someone different was a lady she was once in bed with. Even that doesn't give any information on Ife. But now it's all going to make sense now because they have teased us with Ife's mom finally calling her. Now usually every season, Stars announces new cast and during the show, we get to know who is who. This season 4 had some new cast joining the show and we all know the roles they have played. But I feel there is a hidden unannounced cast and that is Ife's mother. I believe Stars didn't want to make her public from the beginning so that people like us will not be quick to predict from day one. Now there was only one time Ife spoke about her mother and that was when she and Terry were in the car to the location where she nearly killed Lauren. My mom always had a different guy around and one of them liked to touch me. Do you want to know what she did? She fucking married the asshole. Now ever since, there has never been any detailed history about her mother or who she was. Now, this is my theory on Ife's mother and who she really is. I think Ife's mother could be a cop. Now, before you argue with me, hear my theory. Now, Ife has been dealing in drugs since truth and she seems to have her game on luck. We never knew who her supplier was, but let me put that aside for now. Ife has never contacted her mother or anything for us to know her career or what she does. So let's say Ife's mom was a cop and she was never around all the time. Same reason why she changes men because she never gets time for neither the men nor her daughter. And the same reason why in her absence, her mom was touching her daughter while she was on duty. Because if you think about this, Ife's mother should be doing something that doesn't keep her around all the time enough for her man to want to sleep with her daughter. Now, I'm not saying that being a cop is the only job that can get you busy all the time. But looking at Ife's interest in coding and hacking, she seemed to know a lot of stuff even about police database. Now, secondly, Ife deals in drugs and she's in the game. Once you are a cop's child, it will be hard for people to even want to deal with you knowing that either of your parents is a police. Like we saw in Raising Canaan, Ever since he discovered his real father was Howard, he doesn't even want people to know. Same reason Raquel hid this secret from everyone including Kanan for the fear of how the street will react knowing Kanan was a cop's son. This theory cannot be far from Ife if indeed her mother is a cop because of her dealings. Hence, she never went into details on who her mother was. But now that they teased her mother with the phone call, question is why now? What does she want or what has she heard? And believe you me, Ife's mother is going to locate her and in the new teaser, Efe opens her door and the shock in her face will tell you that this is the mother who located her. So I believe we will see Efe's mother very soon in one of the remaining episodes. Now, such situation always starts like this. Child ignoring parents call and the next moment the parent will look for the child to make amends. And in the case of Efe, we already know the mother didn't protect her daughter enough. So definitely she will have to look for her own daughter and probably make things right between them. Now, what could be the possible reason why Ife's mom is calling her now? Possibly because she has found out that all what her daughter was telling her about the man she ended up marrying are finally true and she wants to say sorry to her daughter. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. But believe me, this is the scene where Ife's mother will be revealed. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.